What's up, people? I'm finally back. Uh, I just got my internet put in, in my dorm. If you hear, like, a lot of, I don't know, like, cars in the background, we're right next to a highway sort of thing. Um, or if you hear a helicopter, we're also right next to a, a hospital. Because if you know Pittsburgh, which is where I'm living, going to school, then you know that, um, it's known for its hot, it's a hell of a lot of hospitals. By hell of a lot, I mean, like, hell of a lot. Anyways, um, let's get started. So anyways, we're going to be going over event handlers. Event handlers are always attached to objects. You could attach them to the stage, or in this case, we're going to be attaching it to move pickles. So, um, yeah, let's get started. There's two things you need for an event handler. There's the function, and the function is what it does when that event happens. Like I said last tutorial, we'll work off last tutorial. I said I would create a, um, every time you click on the object, it will rotate 10 degrees. We're gonna do that. So every time we click, which is the action or the event, that will be registered, it will do a function which will add 10 to the current rotation. So um, let's get started. You know what we want to do? Move pickles dot add event listener. Mouse event dot click comma the com this is the event we're registering and we need the function, which we haven't exactly made yet, so we're just going to call it um, rotate a little. <laughs> uh, anyways, then we're going to create the actual function, rotate a little. Um, for the parameters, it's kind of a, they're different than normal parameters. You always need a event registered in the parameters. In this case it's going to be a mouse event. Always need that in the parameters. So you could either call it like event or actually you can't, that's a keyword. Well I mean you could call it like E if you wanted to. It has to be a data type of mouse event or event. Either one works. But we want to be precise because this is a mouse event being passed in. And we want to rotate move pickles. Dot rotation plus equals 10. Now what plus equals does is it takes what the current number is for move pickles dot rotation and it adds 10 to that current number. And if you want to learn more about that, you go to language elements, um, operators, arithmetic, compound, and you just, you know, view help. It'll explain it to you a lot better than I could ever possibly explain it. Well, maybe not. I mean, it's just adding 10 to the current number. Anyways, and that's all you need. And you can do a lot with that. So let's see. Every time I click, it doesn't do anything. But every time I click the object that we assigned this event to, it will do nothing. Oh, whoops. My bad. It's a global constant. All letters have to be capitalized. Yeah. Whew. That blows. Anyways, now. Yeah, there we go. I was like, why isn't it even rotated? So, um. Yeah, every time you click it, it's gonna rotate 10 degrees. Pretty sick. Um, any of you guys watching this on the forum? Just, um. I don't know. Create your own little thing and post it to the new section. It 
and like you know maybe add something to it like every time you click it or every time you because this isn't the only event there's also like keyboard events maybe it's just key event um, I don't know. Let's, let's find out right now you guys need to know how to add events. I mean, look them up on your own. Not, not just with me sitting here holding your hand. Then you're like, hmm. It'd probably be called keyboard event. And then you, these are all like the um, things you could do, like key down, key up, a certain key, a target. And you just like, you know, right click. Any of them. And then you could uh, learn more about it. But anyways, once you do that, post it on the forum. Uh, so that way we can all see your like little creation that you made from it. It'll be kind of cool. So yeah, mine's just rotation, but maybe like every time you click it, it increases its x by ten. Or every time you press y, it'll do something. I don't know. So yeah, surprise me a little. Make it a little more complex. That's your uh, homework. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving out homework. Homework for the day. Homework for the lesson, I should say. So mine rotates. Uh, show me what you can do. It's just this little thing. Uh, next tutorial, we'll be going over if statements. So that way you could know another basic tool that will help you a lot actually. So I will um, see you there and sorry about all this noise in the background. Peace. <laughs>